Okay, so suddenly uh, we're going to be exploring an, an island, and I've just realised I don't have any sort of tropical island type terrain. It's all medieval Europe based, you know, grass, trees, dungeons. Uh, so let's, let's make some quick and easy, dirty tropical terrain. Hello and welcome to the Baton and Barrow and another train making video. Uh, yes, this is going to be a quick, probably quite easy terrain piece <laughs> video um, because I need to make some terrain for a tropical island. I'm going to be utilizing the ter wilderness terrain system that I come up with. So that's like a 30 centimeter slash foot tile in this case we're going to make it a, a sand based one so hopefully i could use this for other things such as deserts maybe in the future i'll revisit this and make some transitional to sea tiles as well but for now it's just going to be four sand tiles uh, there are better ways of doing this i think i'll probably mention this as i'm doing it as well because it'll come to me uh, on geek gaming scenics uh, luke sort of did a few years back when he was known as Luke APS did a uh, realistic sort of tropical board and he uses tile ground rather than sand because he quite rightly mentions uh, that sand is probably too big for the, for the scale we're using but that's all I've got hold of for this video at short notice uh, so ho-hum I'm gonna have to roll with that and see what I come up with I'm also going to be looking at palm trees just to add a little something extra so it isn't just a video of me making gluing sand to a bit of polystyrene and painting it. Blah, let's get on with it. First thing we've got to do is just make some basic tiles. So the first thing is just to make some uh, blank tiles and I am going to undercate, undercate, undercoat them all brown. Uh, I'm going to make four tiles. So we've undercoated them in brown. I'm going to cover it in PVA, water it down ever so slightly and spread it around to get a nice even coverage. I'm just going to use this sand. This is uh, sand from that you used in uh, bird cages. Um, I have watched a video, I think it was by Luke APS or Geek Gaming now, where he was talking about making sort of simple similar tiles to this, obviously better than what I'm going to be doing. And he mentions that perhaps you shouldn't use sand because the scale's wrong, which I agree with, uh, pretty much. Uh, and he uses uh, tile grout. Uh, so perhaps do that. But I don't have any at hand, and this is a... I need to get this done for the game on Sunday, and it's now Wednesday, so... Tap off any excess. It's best to do it on a rotate it all the way around. I'll put this somewhere to dry. The reason I like this sand is because it has little bits of crushed up shell, which being these are meant to be beach tiles, I kind of like that. And now get the excess back into the box, the uh, container, and repeat as necessary. Okay, on to painting. I don't want it yellow, this yellow. I want it more a creamy white, so I'm going to use some creams and uh, beiges and things. Uh, sometimes those really light golden sands, tropical sands. Uh, this one's called Coastline, so that's off to a good sign. Um, you're probably going to notice in this video I have no idea exactly what I'm doing painting wise on this uh, I guess for this I'm going to go for an overbrush rather than a dry brush uh, I'm not too worried about getting rid of all the yellow of these current sand at the moment uh, so if you don't feel that maybe you want to put some paint Mod podge in if you want to seal it. I'm not too worried, but yeah, that's already looking good from my point of view. Uh, 
Yes. That's what the like, sort of thing I'm after. Okay. Get them done. Now I'm going to go over with this really lighter cream. Not all over, but just in plat patches, just to bring out some highlights. Give it a dry brush. for all of it just in places where I'm going to make it look a bit lighter probably not even noticing this on the camera this is one of those steps that you don't notice that it's there but you notice when it's not there it's probably all just looking the same to you but And that's the tiles done. Tiles made to what next? Trees. Um, there is an excellent video by Mel, the terrain tutor, on making uh, palm trees. Uh, they look great, but they look like a, a lot of work and you know a lot of time goes into them. I just don't have that time. Um, at the time of recording now, it's Thursday, and I need to get all this ready for Sunday. Um, so just bought some uh, all these a big bag of 34 pieces uh, from Amazon for just under 12 quid um, these are model railway uh, scale HO or double O depending on where you are in the world uh, but they're quite big I mean let's get Hugo down you go and have a little tropical vacation here Hugo so here's Hugo so that's the biggest size that's all right well I can live with that you have uh, Another one sort of slightly smaller, but still a nice size. Uh, you have these ones, a bit smaller, a bit titchy, but these could go next to the trees like this. There's a little sprout, a shoot coming out. And we have the smallest, which is, looks like that. These will definitely be ground cover, foliage, but you know, a little bush. That's great, these are great. We have some this length, uh, this sort of size. Oh, still quite look quite good next to Hugo good enough again put them next to a big one so I'm just gonna get them all in some sort of order and have a look but what I am gonna do um, the foliage on them is already quite nice I'm not gonna touch that but try and do a quick paint job on these now coconuts I know when you get them in your shop they're probably brown husks and um, furry but when on the tree they're more of a yellow orange so I am just going to dry brush those with uh, orc brown from Nostalgia 88 now uh, I'm hoping this will just take a wash and what I can do is just add a bit of detail here quickly just add Grex earth shade on it but if it doesn't take a wash I think I may have to quickly just go over them with bone blade brown bone blade brown for these sort of ones Although, you know, they've got many different colours. Uh, let's get some brown to see what we can match up with. Uh, there's a reddish brown, a swamp brown for that maybe, or maybe uh, this, which is Gorfa, whatever it is, brown. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is try this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do that I'll know should work is dry brush on some of that yellowish colour. Uh, probably more of an overrush, really. In the leaves. Like so, that looks great. Okay, uh, let's just try if I can. I'd like to get away of not painting trunks, so if I can. That's a wash going to take. Oh, yeah. Perfect. So I'm just going to wash the trunks. That's great. Just add a bit of uh, detail to them and probably dry brush this bottom bit here the same way as the coconuts. 
we've got a bit of detail on them. Beautiful. That's great. That pleases me. Quick, easy. Yes. These brown ones. Oh, that takes it lovely. Well, this is good news. Okay, uh, 34 trees. This won't actually take too long, so let's get these going and then they can be drying while I get on to the next part. And this is how they look when all painted. Uh, come up really nice. Uh, I like them. Uh, quick and easy. Bit of sort of yellow and a wash. And we're away. Um, I've grouped them into various sizes. We have the biggest here. Uh, the uh, next largest here, next here, these ones, and small, so what, XL, large, medium, XXL, XL, large, medium, small, and extra small. Um, I plan to sort of just base them on small bases, and for that I'm going to use just off cuts of 10mm XPS foam. I'm probably going to take two of the largest ones uh, maybe go alternate so if I have a real big one oh how skip size uh, something like that medium uh, brush like that maybe on some and some just something like that just so something like that that's my plan uh, so what I'm going to do first is scale a load of bases down. So for this, uh, angle off the corners. And then carve away. Reason being, I don't want these to be too big on the board, taking up player space and model space. They're here to serve a decorative purpose, set the scene rather than getting in players' way. Sure, they can be used as terrain features to spruce up combat a bit, but it's not the main goal for these. It's not a war game thing. Do um, is just squidge the foam down to smooth it out. All your off cuts. End up with a little base like that. I'm going to glue onto some chipboard, I guess, just to give it weight and protection at the bottom. And that should allow me to house a few of them on here. So I'll carry on making a load of these. And I've done them all, but I'm just worried about them not being very stable with these big long trees. So I'm just going to glue them onto a bit of scrap chipboard. Uh, don't have to say we'll blend it all in nicely just to give it a bit of extra hopefully stability so when these big ones are in it's not going to fall over so I'm going to glue these all on and then afterwards I'm going to paint them brown so uh, I won't even show you that because who wants to see these being painted brown I'm going to do this bit while they're still wet and I'm just going to come in and I am going to glue these bad boys in. I just say bad boys. What is wrong with me today? Because uh, this will make cover them in sand easier later on. one on this side just to help with the uh, the balance there's a lot of weight on this side of this big boy oh, what is wrong with me I've gone crazy today I think there. 
We'll end up with something like that. Which we will soon be covering in PVA and sand. So, yeah, as mentioned, we just apply some watered down PVA, uh, sprinkle some sand on, and let that dry. And then we paint it up in the same way as the actual boards themselves, and we'll end up with something like this. Uh, I've got a bunch of these now. Uh, great, uh, quick, easy, uh, tropical terrain there. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, this is probably one I will return to as we carry on in the campaign, adding to the tropical terrain set. This is just a very quick, basic set to get people up and running if they want to run games on an island or rainforest. Isle of Dread, for instance, comes to mind. Um, yeah, uh, these were r really ridiculously cheap. I don't think I could even uh, make trees for th that price. Um, whack them on uh, some card and foam and sand. And you got tropical terrain set. I've got 10 of these of various different sizes for terrain boards which we're going to have a look at now. But before we do, thank you for watching this long. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to everyone who makes these videos possible over on the Battling Barrow Patreon. Um, thank you all for watching, subscribing and uh, until the next video, stay safe, take care.